good afternoon everyone let me start uh, this function by remembering our late president bala saheb bal most of you must not interacted him but we are the luckiest people on the first batch to sit and share a lot of things along with waxer it's really big big jolt for the great institute and lot of other activities what he has taken over the period of time let me first of all express my humble and very deep regards to nandukar sir the sane sir nandukar sir was principal when we are here and it's long time 30 years so i start with the expressing my regards and all with all humble nation mind that because of them i am standing here today so first of all all my friends and all the dignitaries of the dais first and then on the dais because without you no one on dais is secure this is what i learned over 30 years because when i was sitting with you like what you are sitting i always used to wonder when i can sit here but today if you ask me i will prefer to sit there and let somebody sit here <laughs> that's a life okay coming back to the various achievements and the growth of the institute what we have seen in kkwa is unprecedented unparalleled and i frankly have a opinion that you are the luckiest student to study in this class and this kind of a dedicated institute over the period of time look institutes grows when we started our career everyone knows people used to talk pcmt mit pune bharti vidyapeeth where they stand today go to the campus the people who has seen the campus from the one workshop building to this level it's night mere to just imagine that's why hearts off to all academic staff as well as all members of kkwak society including student to make this successful growing institute not for one or two or three batches but 30 years it's what i am seeing myself and to grow a institute of this capability is sleepless night for most of the top management i can tell you and assure you because now i am sitting in top management position i know i can't sleep in the night also sometimes so coming back to the academics i am very proud and to hear that all students are passing out with the great achievements i know everyone is looking at ipl nowadays last 30 days is going on something is going on so if you consider life is a ipl it should not be a 2020 match but in the start of the career everyone feels is a 2020 match and i have to score and get the best possible what the best institute like kkwa gives you the overall rules and regulation as well as the knowledge base academically understand this word very very completely they made you stronger on the base expansion is you performance is you adaptation is you no one can blame any institute for the his growth or anything but his own efforts after joining the industry or whatever the field you want to make a career into as i told you there are 10 teams almost everyone has 
players out of which some players are under 19 some players from somewhere how many players can shine and how many players can get the opportunities what is the differentiation is whatever whenever you get the opportunity you should be ready to grab it and that's what kk walk teaches you if you pay the attention and i am telling you this not for the telling for the just for the sake of something because i have passed out from the first batch so what infrastructure what learnings what other programs what you have sane sir and nanduka sir can we always laugh at looking at each other sometime now because everyone knows everyone's hard work and absolute very very hard work because to teach a students as rough of as ours who doesn't know engineering on the first year first time we thought okay it's not a bsc let's go to the engineering it was as simple as that time not like cts and all that stuff what we have today so we were lucky on one part and we are unlucky on the other part because we didn't know anything what is engineering is from that portion to understand the engineering and to become something in engineering field is a full credit goes to the teachers and the institute and hats off to the institute what they prepared us i will start with one joke in fact my younger kid you can say it a joke or you can say it a reality because i don't know the now nasik and district and everywhere what are the situation but i look at it and i will explain you little bit so you will also understand and it was very important to share with you to make you understand what is the perception about engineer in our society mind blogging experience okay to start with let me tell you my family background i am a engineer and i am ba my elder kid is passed out from the pune vit as a electronics engineer he is working with nsc now as a program uh, executive and all that stuff and my younger kid just got the admission in mbbs this year in vasan power institute so 15 days back we were there in one of the sessions with parents meeting i was sitting as a parent there along with my elder son because it was very honorable thing that somebody is giving a white coat inducting them as a future doctors it was a proud moment for everyone even for the student even for everything suddenly the dean ma'am stop in the between and ask i would like five parents to talk why they put their kids in a mbbs course and every answer i will tell you every answer was mind boggling i will tell you the only one gentleman who is a principal who was a principal in a sangam near some institute some school he stand up and say 70 plus year old very senior person look i put my grandson into this college for mbbs because of three reasons first reasons there are too many engineers in the market so no one understands no one respect them i said okay start with because i am engineer i feel offended my elder was like he was what the hell is talking about that <laughs> the second statement was engineers cannot take care of their families because they paid hardly 10 15000 rupees across the board so how can they get married girls are not marrying to them so to finding a groom a bride is a difficult story and if they get bride then how they will survive that was the second point third point was in such a situation there is no option which secures our future kids future that's why i put him on mbbs 
you look at the both the sides one way will person my son was boiling and i was laughing because okay he get the good salary and all but he was uh, said how can a person can talk who is not an engineer talking about the engineer's story but this is a fact let me tell you because they are not the engineers but they are the principal that means they have the parental interactions and all and why this is happening don't blame anybody we have to blame ourselves that we are making ourselves cheap by not implementing the knowledge what we get and we are not sincere enough in our efforts towards society because there are two ways of recognition in society one way that what you got in your hand and how you are living life because of the lifestyle and structure because nowadays there is a fashion that how much you earn that much you are more respected but that's a false story and narration when you'll come to my age of 50s or our ages you will know money doesn't buy anything not even satisfaction so how much you earn is a 5000 or a 5 lakh a month doesn't matter but the second portion what we engineers lack totality forget concentrating on our career is we are not become and i don't know why people are afraid we don't become the social animals we are not in any social function we are not in any cultural programs we are not anywhere we are just clapping sitting back said somebody else is doing the job how the indians will get appreciated society feels okay they don't know what they are doing itself so i don't blame the gentleman who has in he is giving us the society so let's understand and get motivated from this that we are not that worst we are better human beings and more than us and but our improvement should be towards the society has to increase and that's where we are lacking the feature in the social life what i learned over engineering from this institute i will tell you this three are the also the reason why i am standing here today and working with a some italian company as a ceo in india after spending 15 20 years into international market not looking at the indian market at all any time there are three things i have learned looking at all my professor from kk vag which till today in any institute i visit including iit i try to search that and i try to find out that person who can resemble me these three things first and the foremost sincerity with a honesty simple example if somebody ask a question in viva how many people of us say i don't know i will bet not a single person will have a daring to say to the external examiner say sir i don't know i have not studied this give me a chance i can explain what i have studied sincerity and honesty very difficult characteristics because then you have to prepare yourself more to accept yourself more this is what i learned from that all my professor from pkwa because we didn't had anything and sirs were look we have this like sanya sir used to say we have these three computers these two are on a windows and this is on next t so you choose where you want to conduct a practical at what time you want to at your time you feel you can come and do now i am here from 7 o'clock in the morning up to 9 o'clock so whenever you find this pc is open you can sit and do your practical even as i am from mechanical engineering think about the computers and other engineers what would have been that case but this sincerity help us to understand the scarcity of the situation and the necessity of that system which is rare because to tell sitting on that position today i can understand how difficult it was for him to tell we have only three we have to use with this 
take it or leave it, but this is the situation. Otherwise, some people will say, no, I have asked for the management, five more are coming, so next week we will try, again next week, again next week. It's very easy, simple. Today is death, gone for the next week. Next week, let's see what happens. But that's none of professor has done in from none of department. The second, which is the most important for me is, whatever the failures, don't stop trying. Failures and success are temporary traits of the situation, depending on your effort at that moment of time. And this can be improved over the period of time. So don't even think that I can't do anything more. Every failure you can do something, there is you cannot look back and say I am finished. No, the finish is the starting line again for the next effort. That is the attitude you have to carry. I will tell you the story of myself. I will not look into left and right and talk about the institute. As I told you, we are, we are such a brute. I don't remember I sit on the first bench any time in my life. Even Nandukar sir's uh, father is my also, uh, I'm the lucky person who has also the teacher for me for the, in school. Because Nasik was very small that time and one of the best institute. He, so I would have the both the thing. <clears throat> when I joined, I was always on the backside and sir used to it. Hey, you come forward, sit here. And I just uh, straight for the writing something, I was again on the back bench. That was the story of first year. And believe me, there was no chance that I can clear first year, which I understood after five months. It was, this is not, a, this is something different elephant. But we are coming out of the 12th <laughs> and we are thinking that what BSC guys are doing and we are playing crickets and football and we are not bothering about the college. It's going to take me somewhere. So we got first year. I got up first year. It was a shock in a house because my parents are teachers. And it was unsigned mood has been written in a house. This guy is not capable to do engineering. We have made, wasted our first year's fees. Don't waste further money, anything. Put him into the BSc. In fact, in the, you will not believe, this is a very good of uh, my parents that I was working as a labor in the industry as a lathe operator for seven months when I was having a drop. My parents didn't allow me to allow it. I said, I used to, I want to study. Okay, study in night or go in a second shift. You will not sit here. Say one month, my salary was 400 bucks. But from second year onwards, I never have a ticket. That's out. Then the first company came after engineering. I think we have five have cleared in first year. And all five are the university rank holders that time. If I remember clearly from the production engineering, first five was the five rank holders of Pune University that time. The gold medalist was my dear friend Ajay Bhatia. Now he's a very big person in a refinery in Bangalore. But to tell you the story, we five all appeared for the written exam of Mahindra. First campus interview, first campus company. And all four has failed, only Ajay Bhatia was passed. Because he, uh, it's a very simple question. You want to reduce 5 mm thickness, 2 mm thickness, you want to do this, this. We are writing CNC, we are this and blah, blah, blah. Whatever we have learned somewhere, read something, we are writing and we are all four failed. Only Ajay Bhatia got. But next two months, all four, four were in Mahindras because we are given an exam. Because we would have said we were not capable to join Mahindras. We don't have the quality as a graduate of things. We would have failed. But all four of us that time, within the next two months, giving an exam, again we were in that. This is what KK Vox teaches us. It's not what we have written, what we have done. This is what exactly the KK Vox is. I always 
repent my son don't want to come to nasik so he didn't join the kk wag and he preferred pune uh-huh. but that's young to he is young like you so i don't want to push something from my side because i have studied somewhere i can guide now i am in a guiding position i am not in a driving position anymore but you are lucky the second story coming to the transition from first year to second year second year to third year third year to fourth year and fourth year and out only one thing is common here we feel we should get praised by the professors we have the good marks so it should be appreciated in second year third year that's why it is motivated also by institute by giving awards yes you have the achievement hats off to you but don't forget that you have got the award now your responsibility is double to get more so if you calculate the any way it's not important to get one award it's important to continue that award till that time you are in that academic year in the same position and you can improve the position if you are in third come to second second to first that is important your efforts first time has been appreciated but it has to be taken to the next level and your responsibility with any award goes up like a standing a resp- i am sitting standing here today my responsibility goes 10 times more when i speak with the young generation like you where the interaction is very limited from the my side from the industry and we are not used to give the lectures on all we can give presentation we can talk about technical things but giving lectures is not our bread and butter so kids goes from first year to second year second year to third year every time you get mature you have girlfriends you have boyfriends you have so many friends and so many things coming on and each year gets added up then suddenly you realize my college is finished i am fourth year what to do then you start after six months realizing my project is coming to completion now i should prepare for the industry campus interviews i should get the bigger jobs i will tell you in today's world anyone and everyone will get job because of our population we will never have a job scarcity anywhere problem is not getting job problem is doing what you like to do why i am saying this is a problem because we compromise every time getting a job first time our own wills to get that name get that pay salary first time and we compromise our own interest i have done same thing not not to blame when i was in mahindra's shop floor every day is a nightmare because i don't want to do that but i was very happy that okay i got selected now mahindra i am in working in mahindra so it was very happy situation everywhere but six months time i realize if i stay here one six months more then i'll become a duck not a lion fortunately me for me i can live that but most of the people from our side because of the family background because of the family pressure expectations don't do that please do that do the things what you like to do you will fail and failures is the way to go for the success no successful person in the planet earth you will find who has not failed i can give you examples mark zuckerberg left out the college after first year which billionaire you want to know about it no one is fully graduated from any university let me tell you this because they feel no this is not my this is what i don't want to do i want to do something else in my life this so they are gone they are wealthy enough they are parents are supportive enough they can do this thankfully with my generation becoming a parent 
for your generation of kids. I can vouch that whatever the earning capacity and financial things are, today's parents are much more supportive to the student by any means. Because I fight with my wife for every day on the same issue. She says, why you want to send a kid to this? He's traveling 20 kilometers. Why you have to go to one bus and all? I said, bullshit. He has to do the job at his age. She's worried he has a, had a breakfast or not. I said, he will have the what about, don't worry. He's not back at eight o'clock. So what will be food? Forget about it. If it doesn't, then you pack it and sleep. So we have every day fight because end of the day, he has to manage. Time he has to manage, what he has to do, he has to manage. Same thing I'm telling you guys, you have to manage these things. So all parents are supportive, extra supportive. So if you can make a project reports, what you have made for your projects, for what you want to do will be much more beneficial for you to choose the organization and fields where you are how to work for. Otherwise, you are the wrong in a wrong place. Either you will become a duck, and then the same comments of ten thousand salary of engineers will continue. Don't do that. The second portion is if you are innovative enough and courageous enough, take a risk in a life and become an employer. Don't think to have the employee mindset that somebody will come and pick me up and give me the 10 lakh salary, 15 lakh salary, one crore salary. No one gives anything free in life. I can tell you, even though I am hiring a people from here, I don't pay the salary for free. If I pay 25,000, I know he has to earn one lakh rupees for me every month, which is four times. So this guy who thinks I'm in a Mumbai, I'm doing good job, by end of the day, nine o'clock in the evening, he will not have energy to even sit and have a food properly. He will sleep because of the tiredness. And it's not about my organization, it's all employees' life. All employees' life are same. Over and above, the government will take the TDS of 33%, so you are working only on 60% of salary. It will be precise 68%. That means out of 100 you earn, you are actually earning only 68 rupees. Again, government will take the 18% GST out of it, so your salary becomes 50 rupees. So, for your own salary, you are actually getting the half the salary in hand after all taxation from government of India. So you are not going to satisfy yourself financially any time till that time you are an employee. So if you have an innovative structures, you have the system, if you have a family business, put the innovation there, put your application knowledge there, get into that and try to become a corporate structure, build there. There is nothing called learning. This is all myths on all corporate stories we will tell on the forums, MBAs, that you should aim at this, then you achieve this, then we will do this, this will motivate yourself, you will do this, we will do the, this CSR reports, we will do the, this presentation, this village has been adopted and all this bullshit, nothing. End of the day, even after 20, 30 years, 25 years of experience, when you start your own, you are going to fail. So why not to fail when you have the energy, stamina, and innovativeness, and learn from that. No management institute will able to teach you that. How to treat the Malis, how to treat the drivers, how to get the work done from them. What else is the industry? You have to become manager, but when a manager is respected, when you know what you are doing, if you don't do by your hands, who will respect you? No one will respect you. And this is what exactly the problem of our society till time that we are looking for placements, we are looking for the employments, and unfortunately, institutes are getting rated on the what kind of placements and salaries 
from the outside people comes and delivers to you tell me your college knows you better your professor knows you better for the eight semester spent with you or a guy who comes with a, some hr technique fill the four forms make the technical analysis and judge this person is what he's searching for he is searching for sincere humble polite labor not an engineer sorry you are trained to do certain point of jobs so you are it might be dismotivating some for somebody who is thinking corporate is my culture corporate is not that bad but given a choice given a today's government schemes i will suggest whatever the smallest business you will have in your family try to make it big and learn while doing this you may earn 4 5 years less but when success will come you will never look back and you can then explore the other hobbies of yours also which is called as today's management slogan work life balance in practical corporate what what it means we should not call a employee after 7 o'clock and his office hour finish at 5:30 that's it why you will call the employee sitting in front of you why you want to call him after 7 o'clock he is not going home at all so please i have the things you have achieved academically fantastic thing you are in a fantastic institute i was just listening to danzukar sir for the his achievements as well as the various developments happening the accreditations colleges are getting more and more recognized academically and i was feeling each time very proud when he was saying second year student got this prize that prize the this is the exact way that this institute promotes you and if the person can continue upgrading that knowledge from the appreciation as a price what you get i will tell you you will become a much better person much better engineer much successful engineer than somebody from the society points up like what that old gentleman was doing few days back so learning is first sincerity with honesty never say no and never say have a never say die attitude every failure is a first so what is make, missing in that the missing part is the hard work hard work is not solving the m3 problem five times it's a repetition believe me hard work is not doing the extra randa on something because it is not getting straight no hard work is to understand why i am not able to do it what principle behind it gulp that principle sit on it till that time you understand marks will come and go no one will ask you your marks after first job which your company you work for a, a smallest person or you can say my own company the academics goes out and they say okay tell me what you do what you have tried why what is your reason for failures no one will say how much percentage in first semester engineering second semester fourth semester what is the average cgpa and all that stuff whose criteria is this these are the criteria for the mass laborer recruitment firms like sorry if i heard somebody is feeling but tcs infosys accenture i name it who are the top 3 recruiters in india today 
they are nothing but the recruiting the body shoppers who can translate one information to other without adding a single page of knowledge to your what you are learn as an engineer and i'll give the example for that a gold medalist from next batch same college that person joined i will not say he and she because people will start recognizing immediately so that person joined tcs after something like four weeks or down the line we have because that time a new new stuff everyone is mumbai is for new for us so we had a get together and literally what that person was doing is translating the information from sap or a, you can say crm system into excel by doing copy paste and calculating the hours hours minutes seconds each person spent in usa multiply by certain euro or dollar rate and give the management figure that last 24 hours these 400 people have worked so many hours and earn this much dollars and our con billing is this much dollar and our payment to this engineer for this work was this much dollar can you believe this is this an engineer's job this can be done by become person right this is what these body shoppers do so don't get fascinated by names absolutely it might be very little bit discouraging feeling people feeling or it's not but i will tell you this is much more motivating than anything else because we don't know when we appear for the exams what is the objective for that exam is because objective is not yours objective is of that company they are satisfying the hr department satisfying their kras their objectives by hiring you not versa we that you are selecting the company to join for doing this job how many people who has appeared for the interview ask the question what will be the my job profile an answer will be very standard it's a standard software job we are from hr so we don't be able to explain you in detail when you will join on induction it will be told very clearly to you what is your duties and functions and what your expertise you required finished and expertise i explain you what they would require you should do control c control v control c control v that's it so jokes apart from the all the stuff this is what we get after coming 30 years down back to the institute and we would like to share you that instead of you are saying that it's a bright futures for engineer you will do fantastically well one person tell me in my life what is well nothing is well i can tell you this unless and until you feel proud you feel satisfied and you enjoy your whatever you are doing nothing is well rest all is a labor job even how highly you are paid for doesn't matter so don't look into the institute today you are lucky to have a kkwa kind of an infrastructure which is very rare to find in most of the reputed institute across maharashtra and across india because we visit lot of institute for various purposes and sometime to have that feeling that oh my god why should i call this person an engineer is much terrible than appraising and something saying for the sake of saying on the dais that time one way i can appreciate and also humbly accepts that kkwa may not give you the frills in our time we used to say kakwa 
it was a much more uh, you can say parody than the pronouncing the name of the institute so we used to say kkw when somebody ask us otherwise in an internal stuff we used to say kakwa kakwa means kawa in punjabi <laughs> so <laughs> for your why i am just giving you this so but we didn't realize this but when we come back to and see the achievements talk to interact with the 25 batches then we understand the how the depth has gone become more and more and more so you are very lucky guys you have the best ready for you don't play 2020 life is not 2020 success is not 2020 you have the base from the institute and believe me after first year no one will ask where where you are passed out what your marks are it will be recognized on what hard work you have done on yourself to growing what institute has given you whatever format just let's not see that this institute gives this thing iit gives me this thing that thing absolutely nothing i will tell you you are in a very good position because most of the people doesn't know what kkwak does inside 120% i can tell you that most of the today as of today standing here if somebody comes from accenture bombay they don't know what kkwag is what it gives what it makes it makes their expectation from the student at the lower level means what they are start ranking you in a class 4 grades and i will tell you this is the finest thing happens in your life when you go to into college uh, in any career path because i will be always happy as i told you i would like to sit here the same way if somebody is downgrading my potential and start ranking me here so whatever i am going to do extra is i am going to always appreciated and clapped for believe me this is a blessing in disguise in today's world student from iit comes you know last year i got two students from iit also never i confirm their appointment because i got student from kkwag and gurugobind singh that's a different story and i am talking about iit mumbai everyone knows today what is iit mumbai rank mechanical engineering pass out tell me what should be the salary anybody i have never given the confirmation letter but anybody can imagine from the fourth year student iit mechanical engineering graduate appearing for campus willing to join sign the contract what should be the salary offered by the company any wild guess what 20 to 30 what <laughs> lakhs per annum fantastic that means something like 2 lakhs per month or 1 and 1/2 lakhs per month 18 lakhs to 20 lakhs fantastic what else anybody else what per month 12000 okay oh, what else <laughs> fantastic what else i feel you know it's like a ipl boli kisko kitna khela malum nahi lekin ek bol raha hai to dusra bol raha hai dusra bol raha hai to tisra bol raha hai average salary package offered in iit mumbai last year for mechanical engineering is 4.65 lakhs for computer engineering 5.75 lakhs and these are the published figure you can do the google search and you will find it out don't have to believe that what i am saying is right so now tell me what you are getting the salary here who is better at the you are you are sitting in iit and sitting who is better on the place to perform 
because they expect moon from him because he is from iit my dear friend whatever he does they will feel he has not performing to his potential so his increment will be 3% next year and because you are in put in a fourth grade that okay let's see whether we can able to carry them out they are perform well in entrance test but let's see whether we can able to carry them out your expectation is zero and you perform even at the equal level of iit and your salary increment will be 20% and don't expect that what is published is only also for the number 1 number 2 maximum number 3 in that institute that year there is no average salary given by any institute any time for the 60 or 100 student for that batch so law of average is very drastic so what do you read every time and every time feel that i am get the salary of 2 crores plus i to get salaries for 1.5 lakhs plus per month no way and these exceptions are really exceptions let me tell you this i am not get jealous by these people getting these salaries because they are these kids these students are exceptional by any standard so there is no way if you are better in particular thing is getting the nothing like it okay you should appreciate that he has got something in him which is different than me then only he will succeed in competition because if you don't know who is your competition and how to appreciate a competition's good things you will always make a mockery of yourself standing somewhere else if you are not able to judge against what you are competing for and these are the not competition these are exceptions and it has to be treated as exceptions and these are less than 1% so don't go by that these are all marketing gimmicks and i will say it's better that you are in kkr not in iit because of any reason because you were choice or because of anything because expectation from the market towards you is very low level and i am not comparing you with the other institute which are plenty today in nasik i have seen that also as i told you i have also picked up from guru gobind and everywhere so i know what i am talking about very clearly <clears throat> naturally the class is good that's why i am comparing you with the iitians not with the smb or guru gobind or something like that so don't feel ashamed you are from the best institute you have done the best engineering studies whatever possible whatever in curriculum was it might be that you are not done the topic which is important for your career at practical time which was the option it happens most of the time in engineering we don't do the 100% studies for passing the exams we put certain topics in the options and these options can become a bigger job don't shy go back and learn again nothing bad i was the worst designer in my life in performance wise but today you ask me to design anything on a packaging machine i can tell you conceptually no one can take even come nearby to the hand otherwise i would have not standing here but my mechanical design was the worst like in college because it was lot of options as usual nothing great every engineer does it and every engineer knows what he does so please understand this college has given is a platform henceforth it's you who are going to build bangalore multi storage or a taj mahal it's your stuff and it's your hard work with the basics of sincerity honesty and never die attitude in working always self improving and don't try to please anybody you will never able to please because you will try to please one boss there are four other colleagues will get disturbed so learn 
to please yourself and don't get satisfied by the result what you get whatever result you get if you are satisfied even though get you say it's a 100 out of 100 and you satisfied your growth is starts declining path the moment say no how can i do better how can i go 101 10 then only you will innovate and that's a success mantra for today generation innovate adapt but with honesty and sincerity because you are going to face lot many failures than our generation had faced so please don't get frustrated get motivated with every each and every failure get cautious with each and every achievement and appreciation because with each appreciation you are being looked by 20 more people more carefully and everyone is on a find fault finding mission there no one is your friend we are in corporate so no one is your friend so 20 more eyes after appreciation means you have to go through the not one but 20 scrutinies after one appreciation it's not a college that somebody will clap for you no forget college it's throughout competition only for survival so no one is your friend one appreciation means you are putting up the 20 more eyes on you second appreciation 40 so if you say the 40 people are observing and trying to finding the faults what will be the your story it's tough so whenever you get the appreciation in a corporate life you have to be doubly doubly cross sure that and be careful oh i got the appreciation now let's see what next when you get a failure you should be happy because you are learned something and no one is noticed this so guys i will not stretch myself because i am not very used to this kind of a dais programs very frankly i am an engineer and uh, you can say packaging machinery expert than the speaker anywhere so if please uh, excuse me sir or uh, let me say sorry if i diverted the some topic but i think i can able to give some throw some light on the practical life than giving the jargons and motivate the people in a different direction i definitely motivated even one person i will be happy so thank you very much for this thing after 30 years coming back to college thank you